library friends. It's me, Becca, the 4-H Extension Agent in Montague County. Um, we are super excited for our April library kit uh, that is all about Earth Day. So April 22nd is Earth Day, and we thought that we would use that for our theme this month. We hope that you enjoyed the microgreen kit and all the rest of the kits we've been offering. So in your kit, you will find a paper that explains the activity like we always have as well as um, a coloring sheet for you. Um, so let's go through how you're going to put this together. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to get your string. There should be a piece of string in there. And we're gonna make a circle of earth bracelet. So you're gonna tie a knot at the end of the cord, which has already been done for you. And you're going to string the beads onto the, um, onto the string in this order. So first is the clear bead, and that represents people. Then we have our blue bead, which represents water. Next we have our green bead that represents plants, followed by our brown bead that represents soil, our red bead that represents day, our black bead that represents night, our white bead that represents air, and finally our yellow bead that represents, what do you think? The sun, right? So then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a helper help me um, whenever I have somebody close to me and they can help me tie this on my wrist and this really nice um, bracelet. So let's talk about the earth. The earth provides us with all we need to survive. We must take care of our most valuable resources. So the beads, like I told you, represent different things. Water is a circle. Water rains on the land. It collects in oceans, rivers, lakes, and streams. It evaporates, rises into the sky, and collects in clouds. The clouds become heavy with water and rain falls down to the land again. So that's our water bead. I skipped one though, the people bead. People move in circles. The earth provides us with what we need to survive. Next is plants and soils. They're in circles. Plants grow in the soil. They provide food for animals and animals provide food for other animals. Animals die and decompose, contributing to new soil and then new plants grow. So again, it's a circle, circle, circle of life. Earth is a circle. Earth rotates on its axis revolving around the sun. The earth and sun give us seasons and the cir circle of day and night. So our daytime even runs in a circle. We circle from day to night. Air is a circle. Animals breathe in oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. Plants take in carbon dioxide, use it to make food and give off oxygen. Animals breathe it in again. Finally, the sun. The sun is a circle. The sun provides warmth and light for all of the earth circles. Without the sun, plants and animals would not survive, and the sun binds all of our circles together. So you can see why this is called our Circle of Earth Bracelet. I also wanted to mention on your handout, we would love to get some feedback from you. So have your parents, your grandparents, your aunt, your uncle, your brother, sister, whoever cares for you to um, put their phone up to this little symbol here, this QR symbol, and it'll take you to a survey. And like I said, we'd love to hear about what you think about our kits. We're gonna take a break for the summer months, but we will be back in the fall to offer more fun activities that you can pick up at your local library. We have loved this partnership and we have loved being able to provide these kits to you. We hope that you love them too. So next, here comes Heather with one of, um, with a read aloud with a really awesome book about the earth and to celebrate Earth Day. See ya. Hi, library friends. It's Miss Heather from Extension. I would love to talk to you today about Earth Day. And because it's Earth Day in the month of April, we would like to read you this book called, What Does It Mean to Be Green? It's by Reina DiOrio and illustrated by Chris Blair. And our publisher for this book, that's the person that makes the books, is called Little Pickle Press. So many thanks to all of that. It says, what does it mean to be green? Does it mean being good with plants? No. Does it mean feeling sick in a car? No. 
Does it mean looking like a frog or a pickle or an alien? No. Being green means turning the lights on in your home only when you need them. So look at the picture. It's really sunny outside. Maybe you don't need the lamp. <clears throat> Eating foods grown locally or even from your own garden. Walking to the park instead of getting in a, uh, going for a ride in your car. Packing your lunch in containers you bring from home every day. Enjoying your ice cream in a cone rather than a paper cup with a plastic spoon. Picking up trash that isn't yours and putting it in the garbage. Putting bottles, cans, plastic, and paper into the recycling bins. One of our libraries even has a recycling bin outside at Arnottsville. Enjoying your food scraps to make fertilizer for your garden. Collecting rainwater instead of using a hose. So to see they're watering from the rain instead of the guard, like instead of turning water on from inside. <clears throat> Drawing on two sides of your paper instead of just one and giving clothes that you've outgrown to someone smaller than you. Look at that. That dog looks confused. Did you see that in the picture? He's like, uh, I don't think that'll fit. <laughs> Silly dog. Wearing your pajamas one more time before washing them. Turning off the water while you brush your teeth. Thinking of new ways to conserve. Reminding grown-ups to be green too. Wow, look at that. Lots of good ideas on these pages. Being green means doing whatever we can to protect the Earth's precious resources. It means to understand that one bus carries as many people as 40 cars. One minute has 100 acres of rainforest being cut down. Your food travels an average of 100, I mean 1,500 miles to be on your plate. One third of the water used in most homes is flushed down the toilet. That's a lot of water. If all of our newspapers were recycled, we could save tons of trees each year. Recycling one glass bottle saves enough energy to light a 100 watt bulb for four hours. So spread the word about being green. If we work together, we can save the world. And that balloon says, recycle. So guys, we were really excited to talk to you about Earth Day. We also are really excited because on the <clears throat> April 22nd, we have a very cool event at Morrill Park. It's from 4 to 6 p.m. And we have uh, partnered with Mon Power and you can come and visit us, do an activity and take home a tree. <gasps> That's exciting. You can plant that at home and grow a tree in your yard. All right, well, we hope to see you later. Thanks, bye.